I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. You guys hit 50,000 likes and I'm keeping my word. I am a man of my word. I told you guys we are back in business. Every 50,000 likes I'm dropping another Danganronpa 2 episode on your head. We are not stopping this episode until something exciting happens. If you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. So last time I left off, I had some free time and I was like, who am I going to hang out with? Like while I was starting the game, I was like, who are these mother suckers? Am I gonna hang out with i don't want to hang out with her because she is so annoying like she is the most annoying person should i hang out with this girl mikan this clumsy ass girl uh i kind of want to see where my guy nagito is because he's a cool dude what is that hold on there's something new here that i haven't seen before would you like to try your hand against the almighty mono mono yashin it's not even a machine it's a yashin let's give it a shot all right let's give it a shot what do you want me to do Okay, let's put some coins in there. Guess I'll put in all my coins, because why not, right? I got... I think I got a vial of drugs. Okay, let me go back to my cottage and let's snort that thing. I don't even know what that was. I should probably get going. Yeah, because I'm broke as a joke now. Let's talk to Nagito. Hey, Biakuya is very reliable, as expected of the ultimate affluent progeny. <laughs> With everyone working together under such a splendid leader, we'll be able to overcome any difficulty. What should I do? Should I ask Nagito if he wants to hang out? Invite him to hang out. Yes, sir. Right. Then let's do what we can, just as our leader ordered us to do. What is this? Just as our leader ordered us to do? I spent time with Nagito today looking for clues. Nagito and I grew a little closer today. Hey, would you like to give him a present? Sure. Let's give him that thing that we just got. Hold on. It was like a green vial of some doo-doo butter or something. I just need to find it. Stardust. A small bottle of stardust. It said that owning this item is enough to make you what? Make me what? Make me happy. Okay, I want to be happy in this life. I'm grateful to receive anything you give me. I don't know if it's bad luck or good luck to receive this, huh? I'm looking forward to finding out. What? Hajime, are you feeling sick? Huh? No, not at all. Nope. I see. Then it's okay. I thought you looked pale or something. <laughs> this boy. The palest man on this freaking seven seas. And he calling me pale. Alright. I thought something was worrying you. Ah, uh, but it'd be weird if you weren't worrying in a situation like this. Nagito was laughing in a carefree way. But seeing him laugh like that was enough to distract me from my worries. Huh? What? Is something wrong? No. How should I put it? I was just thinking about all the ways you've been helping me so far. Thank you. Wow. No, I haven't done anything to receive your thanks. But for someone like me to be useful to you, and to even receive your words of gratitude, makes me happy. You're being too hard on yourself. <laughs> I mean, my talent is just having good luck. It's not like it comes from hard work, and it's not like I can use it to do anything amazing. Regardless of how lucky I am, or if that luck even exists, I'm just too unimpressive to truly matter. Haha, <laughs> unlike you guys. Why do you sound so happy about that? It's possible that my talent might be more meaningless than yours, you know? I mean, I can't even remember what it is. Maybe he's the ultimate forgetter. There's no mistake. That's not true. I'm sure you have an amazing talent. I mean, if you didn't, you wouldn't have been accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Somehow, when I see the way Nagito doesn't doubt me at all, I start to believe he's right. He really does help me in so many ways. Hey. I know, if you'd like, let me help you remember. Let's see. A talent that suits Hajime. I see. What about the ultimate serenity? Which part of me did you look at to come up with a title like that? Is that even a useful ability? Hmm. Huh. I'm pretty sure the ability to bring serenity to others just by being there is really amazing. Let's see. <laughs> what about the ultimate clumsy student? Hey, how about the ultimate I'm gonna whoop your ass? Well, considering that I suddenly forgot what my talent was, that might be fairly accurate. Then, what about the ultimate scatterbrain? How about the ultimate... Let's freaking go right now, buddy, okay? Stop talking that bull! Don't go that far. I don't want an ultimate talent like that. Wow. Hey, don't take it seriously. It was just a little joke, huh? Then, <laughs> how about the ultimate spiky hair? That's not an ability at all. I know, right? <laughs> right? But it's gonna be fine. I'm positive you have a talent that's brimming with hope. Jeez, he's totally messing with me. But thanks to him, my feelings are lighter than they ever were. Could it be? Was that his goal all along? If so, maybe he's a good person after all. Well, I guess it's too early to say. I need to get to know him better from now on. I hope we get to understand each other better, even if it's just a little bit at a time. Nagito's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Yeah, baby. It's still bright out, and I've still got some time left. 
I don't feel like doing nothing, so maybe I should go somewhere. Okay, we got more free time. All right, you know what? Who are we gonna see? I kind of want to see the hamster guy. I kind of want to see what that guy's all about. But Biakui is right over here. So why not, right? Very strange. Why did the organization behind this matter kidnap us? I'd like to think about it, but there just aren't enough clues. What should I do? Should I invite Biakui to hang out? Let's do it. Hm. Very well. I was just starting to get hungry from overthinking. This is your Let's eat order. something light. Follow me. What are we gonna do, eat people? I spent time with Biakuya today watching him eat an obscene amount of food. Looks like Biakuya let me get a little closer to him. Would you like to give him a present? I don't really have anything. Actually, I think I saw one thing that I do have. It's right over here. It's uh, the Osami magic stick. I'm good. Sorry, but we can't let you give him that. It's what we in the industry like to call a key item. Oh, okay, my bad. I don't want to give him anything. Just give him nothing! Yes! Hey, Hajime, let me ask you one thing. Huh? Me? I don't really mind, but... There's something I've been wondering for a while, and I'd like to purge that question from my mind. Listen. So let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? Huh? Well, uh, I don't really know the exact number. I've never had it checked before. What? Never had a check before. This can't be- Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? <laughs> I swear, this is why I dislike commoners. For some reason, Biakui's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think that I've actually done something wrong. I see. However, just by looking at you, I'd say that you're a 9. No, maybe an 8. <laughs> Regardless, it's probably around one digit. <laughs> be grateful this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospitable, you'd freeze to death. I see. <laughs> anyway, you still can't remember what your talent is? Yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there is no need for you to be depressed about it. Huh? <laughs> What's with that face? Nothing. I just thought I was going to get yelled at again. Huh, how foolish. Do you think I'd get mad about something like that? A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you weaklings. <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. In the name as of long as family. Biakuya Togami is in charge, you will all know peace. I see. His personality is so overwhelming. <laughs> the Togami Corporation is famous worldwide, but it will grow even more rapidly under my command. You should really feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Biakuya Tagami, the ultimate affluent progeny. Hmm. Just make sure you don't get in my way. A commoner should know their place and stay put. Goodbye. However, if there is anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. After saying that, Biakuya gallantly strolled away. He was being pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I feel like I got to know a little bit about Biakuya. <laughs> Alright, so Biakui's report card has been updated. That's what I like to see. I decided to return to my room for now. They need to update his ultimate status though. He is the ultimate orphan. I mean, come on, it's just facts! Monokuma said it in the first one. Ding dong bing bong baby! Actually it says ding dong dong ding. What? Ding dong dong ding baby! Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? It said ding dong dong ding. It's not ding dong bing bong. Hope Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. How are you not gonna ding dong my bing bong? Hello everyone! The fun time you've all been waiting for is about to begin! Wow. I wonder what festivities me await off. you! Oops! Don't want to ruin the surprise! It was a little meh at first, but anyway, please gather at Jabberwock Park! This all doesn't make any sense, guys. Ding dong bing bong went to ding dong dong ding! Did he just tell us to go to the park? It's the middle of the night. What's he up to? I suddenly had a bad feeling about all this, and goosebumps sprung up all over my body. If we're not allowed to defy Monokuma, then there's no way I can ignore this, right? Which means, there's nothing I can do except listen to him. Damn it! What is it now? Okay, let's go over there. Because Monokuma apparently likes to get freaky on a Friday night. Everyone was already at Jabberwock Park when I arrived. Once again, you're late. Did you lose your nerve? I'd like to deny that, but he's not exactly wrong either. That's fine. Anyway, it seems everyone is here. How annoying! Oh, what is it this time? So freaking annoying! Then you shouldn't have come. I mean... Well, I mean, I don't know what'll happen to me if I don't come. <laughs> <laughs> Since none of us know what'll happen, maybe you should be the one to test that out. 
Hey, you may talk like you're tough, wise guy, but you wouldn't be here unless you were scared to. Calm down, Karen! Huh? What? Yeah, yeah. I guess even a big bad Yakuza like you must have been scared of that monster, huh? You... What the hell did you just say? Wait! Stop it, you two! Fighting amongst friends isn't good! Huh? What? Did you just say friend? Dumbass! I'm not your friend, dumbass! When did I ever become friends with you bastards? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Let me be perfectly clear. I can do I it. I can you do know. it, you know. Huh? huh? You. What did you just say? <laughs> oh, you didn't hear me? Then I'll repeat myself just once for you. I said it. I can do it. Do it. What are you saying? Don't tell me. Are you being serious right now? I guess he can do it. My guy can do it. Hey, Fuyuhiko. Why don't you calm down for a bit? Bastard! Don't talk to me like we're friends or something! Don't misunderstand. I live in a completely different world than you bastards. Kill or be killed. That's the kind of world we live in. Jeez. <laughs> the current rules make more sense to me than that play nice or get along crap. What are you saying? If you don't stop it right now, I'm gonna get seriously angry. You... Don't treat me like a kid, bitch! Just stop. Just stop already. This kind of fighting will not get us anywhere. Shut the hell up! Shut the hell up! There's no way I'm dealing with this kumbaya crap! If any of you guys want to die, step forward. I'll kill you right now. To get Sounds fun. Up. Give me your best shot. What's going to happen if you're this easily provoked? That's enough. Enough. Huh? huh? I see. Fuyuhiko, I understand what you're saying. Don't worry. I do not intend to dismiss your feelings. There was a time when I also thought the same way as you. Don't treat me. Are you treating like me like a kid, kid too? But what would this. reckless killing accomplish? If you fail to get away with it, you know you'll be executed. Or perhaps... That's what you really want? If so, hmm. you'd only be killing yourself to run away from this predicament. That's what a child would do. What did you, you just say? Listen, listen. So as long as we're here, I will not let any of you die. I will not let any of you become a victim. And that goes for you too, Fuyuhiko. I won't let you die. What the hell? Everything you're saying, it's just empty promises. <laughs> it's true my words would ring hollow if anyone else spoke them. My name but I am Biakuya Tagami, and I am destined to bring these promises to fruition. <laughs> Yowza! He's so cool! Uh-huh. I agree. Heh. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like. <laughs> do what you will. However, remember what I said earlier. In the name of I will not name. let any of you become a victim. That is the duty I have appointed to myself. <laughs> It seems like Biakuya resolved it, for now. But, even if he's the ultimate Yakuza, there is no way Fuyuhiko really meant what he said earlier, right? Um... Uh huh? It looked like you guys were arguing, so I wasn't sure when to actually show up. It looks like I showed up at an awkward time. Why are you dressed like that? Oh, didn't I mention it for my recent broadcast? It's my costume for the fun time! Oh, don't tell me you're going to... That's right! Since we're on a tropical island, I'm here to do my two-man comedy routine. Why does it matter that we're on a tropical island? But can you do a two-man comedy routine all by yourself? Of course not! That's why I brought my partner! Uh, what is this? Uh, that figures! Now then, without further ado, I'm pleased to present Monokuma's side-splitting live two-man comedy show! Huh? I didn't hear anything about this. Are you telling me I have to improvise? I'm speechless. Alright, is it time for me to drink some water? Yes, it is! Hello! I'm Monokuma! Woohoo! Um, I'm Monami. Okay, so it's Monami. It's not Monami, it's Monami. And together we are... Monami, okay guys, I'm gonna remember that. Monami. Now, I know it's sudden, but I guess I should show you guys my amazing mind reading abilities. Let's do it. Uh, you can read minds? As practice, I'll guess your favorite food. Hmm, your favorite food. Monokuma's voice sounds a little different, right? You can do it. Is it just me? It's obvious what rabbits like. Carrot. Carrots? That's right. Dabbers. I've never eaten a dead Cadavers. body. Cadavers. Now then, Monami's up next. Come on, do a short skit or something. <laughs> he said <cadavers>. What? <laughs> There's no way I can do that. 
No worries, it's all good. I know a technique to summon the god of comedy. Oh, me? So, oh. which do you think is better? Taking blood while you're still alive? Or after you're already dead? This is a joke? Why would you ask such a cruel question? If I'm gonna summon the comedy, then I'll need a lot of blood. So, a god of comedy wants blood. Mm. Pretty please. <laughs> Pretty please. No matter how charmingly you ask, there's I love no Monica way I'll let you take my blood. You're always so quick to make a scary face, Monami. Monami. You guys better be careful, Monami. You know, since Monami's actually a bad guy, she's as bad as the first villain the hero fights in a teen manga. They're always the underdog. Believe me, it's a fact that Monami's a villain. I'll let you all in on a little secret of hers. Monami went out of her way to erase your memory. Cap. Say what? I don't think so. Wait, That's Cap. Huh? Cap, Cap, Cap. You guys don't even remember how you got to this island, am I right? Nope. Well, that's because Monami stole your memories. Well, what are you saying all of a sudden? But wait, there's more. <laughs> she didn't but wait, just steal there's your more. boring memories, like how you guys got to this island. She completely took away your memories of the years you spent at Hope Speak Academy. <laughs> but wait, there's what more is the line shocker. that he said. That's what he said. Oh, uh, it's like she's like, that's it. And he's like, but wait, there's more. That I've shared Let me stop. That with you. Seriously, memory loss plots are so old hat nowadays. I know, right? We're going to do this old memory loss thing again? I mean, come Holy on. Don and Rope for the first one did that. Until the end of the story to reveal a cliche oh, bro. twist like that. Monokuma, you better than that. Please stop. Or are you not better than that? <laughs> Wasn't that a huge surprise? In truth, you guys aren't freshman students at all. What are they, grown men with kids and families? You guys just thought you were because you've lost all school memories quick someone get a plagiarist because i feel like i've heard this story <laughs> before S seriously this is bad in so many ways again i'm gonna keep so beating her up like that you. his backhand is far too powerful i don't think that's a backhand i think that's a full-on paw be a paw paw okay everybody throwing that that that's Huh? Okay, not Hajime. That's... What did he mean? Hey, hey. How was it? Was it funny? Or was the comedy too high brown for you? Come on. Hey, what were you saying just now? Huh? What was I saying just now? <laughs> oh, you mean when I said that your school memories were completely stolen? Completely stolen? Our school memories completely... What is he saying? <laughs> uh, there's no way... Because I just entered Hope's Peak Academy and then I was brought to this island right away. It's That's true. because that's how you remember it. All thanks to Monami stealing your school memories. What are you saying? That's impossible! Who knows? Man, how many years has it been since you guys first entered Hope's Peak Academy? I wonder what happened to your friends and family. They're probably worried sick about you. Maybe. Impossible. Our school memories were stolen? That's ridiculous! That's right. There's no way I have memory loss. You can't. Don't. Don't listen to what he says. <laughs> Limit breached. I, I refuse to believe such believe. a thing. Yep, everything's okay. I don't believe it. <laughs> You're lying, right? Stealing our memories. That's a lie, right? You're just trying to make fools out of us, right? Wrong. Nope, it's not a lie. If it was a lie, then how do you explain this? The moment you arrived at Hope's Peak Academy, you all experienced a strange dizziness. What? How do you know that? Actually... <laughs> Why, that was the cutoff point. Your memories beyond that point have been completely removed. What the hell? I could feel myself getting lightheaded. I couldn't think. I couldn't speak. I could only breathe in heavy, gasping breaths. <laughs> so, a long time has passed since then. Impossible. impossible! There's no way! Lies. On the contrary, why is it impossible? Whether or not That's... it's possible, there's no way we can believe it. No, no. You just don't want to believe it, right? Yeah. But don't worry, I'm a generous guy. 
I can give you back your memories. Uh, huh? Hey. However, um, there's a catch. Could it be? Don't tell me the catch is. <laughs> Figured it out yet? That's right. That's right. You guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, hey. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Hey, then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. Hey, stop running your mouth. My, my, why so angry? I'm just providing you all a motive from the bottom of my big, generous heart. Otherwise, you cowards wouldn't get any killing done. Well, that's not your fault. Humans are natural-born cowards. They even cry after their mom squeezes them out. That's why I'm giving you a motive. Think of it as an excuse to commit your future crimes. Stop this at once. Do you really think your delusional rambling will convince us to commit murder? What are you saying? I don't even believe that memory loss crap in the first place. Hmm. But more than that, what you guys really don't believe is each other, right? What's going on? What do you mean? Hey, you um... guys don't know each other, which means... Yeah. None of you realize that a traitor is hiding among you, right? Huh? Hmm. Hey, why are there 16 of you? If a total of 15 students from Host Peak Academy were arranged to come to this island... I got it! That's right! There's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding among the group! Just kidding. What are you saying? You... All this shit about traitors doesn't make any sense! Oh. It's obviously nonsense. Lame! For real, you guys. How can you be so sure? You guys don't know anything about each other. You don't even know each other's true natures. That's why, if one of you is planning to kill someone, it's impossible for any of you to know. With those words, everyone fell silent. I wanted someone to argue with him. Anybody. But nobody said a word. They just stood there. Uh -huh. Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys, it makes sense for someone like that to get killed, right? Yeah. Come on, make the preemptive strike. It's first come, first served, and the winner takes all. <laughs> if you want to survive, you got to find that person before they find you. I'll let him handle the laugh. He got that laugh nailed down. Can't do a little Monokuma laugh. Even after Monokuma's boisterous laughter faded away, we all just stood there. Every one of us. This situation, this circumstance, this phenomenon, this disaster, this nightmare, this hell, this despair. Okay, this Hajime guy is just like a Makoto. It consumed every one of us. Remember when Makoto would go down in the elevator for the trials and he was like, the ultimate blah blah blah. I was like, oh my god, the ultimate blow my freaking brains out, why don't you? Is it true? Is there really a traitor among us? Oh, it's not me, by the way. I know I may look suspicious, but it's not me. Who is it? Hurry up and show yourself! You're only making things worse for you by staying silent! That's enough. Just stop. There's no way there's a traitor. There's no way. It's pointless to even discuss something so foolish. I won't believe That's right. I, won't believe. I don't believe it. Because there's no way I can believe it. There's no reason in the first place to believe it. Hey. Monami, you would know. Huh? huh? Is what Monokuma said true about our memory loss and about the traitor? Um, um I mean... Everyone needs to look to the future. That's why you shouldn't look back to the past. <laughs> Keep your eyes fixed upon the future. Let's do our very best. She sounds like one of those school posters, those motivational posters that you'd see in a school. Ain't nobody believe that shit. Huh? Ah, <sighs> she ran away. <laughs> huh, how ridiculous. Memory loss, a traitor, it's completely fictional. Dumbass. I can't deal with this bullshit, dumbass. As he said, it's a work of fiction. It's entirely different from the reality I know. Stolen memories? All of my school memories? Everything? A traitor hiding among us? But what really struck me was when Monokuma said, You guys don't know anything about each other. Ding dong bing bong baby! That's the only thing I know in this world. Ding dongs and bing bongs. I mean, pause on the ding dongs, but I know the bing bongs. Mega Ultra Instinct pause on the bing bongs. I mean, ding dongs. It you guys know what I'm talking about. It is now 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Ding dong bing bong, baby. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. I'm gonna rock you to now sleep then, with these fists of dreams, fury. Everyone. I'm just kidding. That's Good Cap. Night. That's Cappy. Hey. Hey, what should we do? It's better if we call it a night here. We should get some sleep. 
We try to keep our minds calm. Oh. I guess you're right. This is your Just so you all know, do not think about unnecessary things. This is your leader's order. Tomorrow morning, let's meet at the restaurant after Monokuma's morning announcement. Um, How troubling. I think the saying goes, I am frightened so stiff. Huh? I feel pretty stiff right now too. This guy, man. This guy. Uh, just a bucket of fuck sometimes. That's not how the saying goes. But it's not her fault. She's a foreigner after all. To be honest, I don't really remember what happened after that. But later, I realized something. I was sitting on my bed inside the cottage, with my head drooping down to my chest. As I sat there alone, a strange thought suddenly crossed my mind. Traitor. Could it be? Someone who isn't like the others? Like, someone who doesn't even remember what their talent is? What the hell? I don't understand at all! I put these stupid thoughts out of my mind, and collapsed onto my bed. I don't think he's the traitor. Immediately, I closed my eyes. Closing my eyes was the only thing I could do to escape from this otherworldly reality. Maybe he's the ultimate detective like Kyoko. Because there is no ultimate detective here. But in the last video, or in the last game, there wasn't really like an ultimate breeder or an ultimate gamer or things like that. So maybe all these ultimates are all new. And there's only one ultimate per person in the world, I guess. Several people were already at the restaurant. And nobody had anything to say. Thanks. But nobody was talking. Not a single word. While they sat there, the people who were late began to arrive as well. Nobody's gonna say anything? You want me to speak up? Is everyone here? Huh? Huh? It seems Fuyuhiko was not here yet. <laughs> Maybe he already got killed. <laughs> uh, dead bodies already? No. Don't go killing people off. I saw him outside earlier. However, he told me he would not be joining us this morning. Why does he have to act like a lone wolf at a time like this? Maybe... Could he... Is he thinking of a plan to kill someone by himself? You must not... Kazuichi, you should not doubt your friend. Hey, hey, hey. Well, he's a Yakuza, isn't he? Do you understand what that means? He's part of the Japanese Mafia! Hmm. I presume he's the kind of person who would not come even if we summoned him. That's fine. I guess it can't be helped. We should just talk among ourselves. Someone can fill him in later. Talk? What are we going to talk about? Rejoice. Rejoice. I decided to throw a party tonight. Huh? A party? That's right. That's right. A huge party that will last from sundown to sunrise. What the party till the sun comes up? This is Just so we're story. clear, I will not allow any absences. Your attendance at this party is absolutely mandatory. Huh? Hey, now's not the time to talk about stuff like partying. Hmm. On the contrary, there is no better time than this. But still, we really shouldn't be partying. Wait. Um, hold on. I agree with Biakuya. It doesn't do us any good to stay bummed out like this. Hey. In fact, because of the situation we're in, it's probably best if we all strengthen our friendships with one another. <laughs> That's what you thought too, right? That's why you want to throw a party. Hmm. It doesn't matter why I'm doing it. Anyway, it is of vital importance that we all stay in one place tonight. You, you say that with such significance. It's, all clear. it's decided. We're having ourselves a party. But... Even so, I'm not sure it needs to last all night. Stop talking. If I thought that, I would have made that clear from the beginning. I'm, sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I'm so, so sorry you're trying to meddle with your plan. Is she another Toko? Is she going to have the hots for Biakuya? I see. It's important to be flexible in situations like this. Perhaps a diversion from all this is just what we need. Yahoo! Then let's party hard! Ah. <whistles> uh. In that case, I'll put my amazing cooking skills on display for you guys. Hmm. Where's the party going to be held? Would this restaurant be okay? Hmm. No, this won't do. We need a location that's impervious to interference from outsiders. A place even Monokuma cannot enter. What we need is an enclosed space. Hmm. An enclosed space? Oh. If the restaurant won't do, then neither will the lobby. That's not nearly enclosed enough. Um. Nor will the cottages. With so many people, we would all be pressed up against each other. But if you want to be pressed up against each other, then a cottage is clearly the best choice. I can't stop Pressing up against ladies without sneaking aboard the women-only train and drag. I feel so lucky. There's something wrong I can't with believe you. how comfortable you are with saying you've perverted thoughts out loud. <laughs> uh-huh. I may be a pervert, but I'm the kind of pervert everybody likes. <laughs> Your confidence is seriously impressive. Hey. 
Then, how about that old looking building near this hotel? Huh? That rundown place? You're right. Yeah, but if we do our best to clean it, I think it'd be perfect. Plus, it's basically the only space that meets our needs for an enclosed space, right? However... Indeed. However, Monami has forbidden us from entering that old place. As I recall, it's in the middle of being renovated. I have heard your conversation! Heard it all with my very own ears! Ahem! I have good ears, cause I'm a rabbit! Oh, so you use your ears. That's strange. Huh? Hmm. Then what is the reason for those surveillance cameras? Are they for Monokuma's eyes only? Hello. Ah, she looks so disappointed! That's fine. Well, it is of no concern. We can settle that issue another time. Listen. Regarding that old building, you came to tell us something about it, right? <laughs> yes, if it strengthens everyone's bonds with each other, then I will not hesitate to cooperate. I shall so in that it. case, I will allow you to enter the old building. I'll cooperate so we can all party together. <laughs> Together? That's not gonna happen because you're so disgusting. Understood. Do yourself a favor and stay away from mirrors. You'll be grossed out by what you see. <laughs> oh, your kind words make me want to cry. Um, um, so we're all good with the old building? And? Then what about the preparations? If it's in the middle of a renovation, don't we need to clean it first? Oh. I have never done the dirty work known as cleaning before. I am excited to finally experience it. Hey, hey, hey. No way! There's no way we can dirty our dear princess's hands! Yeah, I don't want to do it either. Jeez. What? Nobody's gonna do it? Hey. In that case, why don't we decide by a random drawing? Random drawing? Actually... To be honest, I already prepared a drawing because I assumed something like this would happen. What the hell? To go out to the trouble of preparing this, just what did you think would happen? See? Whoever draws the chopstick with the red mark on it will be in charge of cleaning, okay? Does that sound fair? I bet you it's gonna be Hajime. Judgment. Well then! Let us entrust our destinies to the whims of this drawing. All right. Well, no hard feelings. One by one, everybody took turns pulling the chopsticks Nagito held in his hand. And when it was all said and done... What? Huh? I'm left with the red mark? Bitch! Haha! <laughs> Haha! For someone called the ultimate lucky student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Wow. Huh. I guess it can't be helped. All right. Well, if it's just cleaning, leave it to me. I'm actually pretty good at it. <laughs> I thought so too. You seem like you'd make a good stay-at-home dad. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. I'll handle the cooking. All right. First, I need to prepare my ingredients. Then I'll start cooking at the old building. There's no mistake. I, Teru Teru Hanamura, will go all out. I will prepare the world's tastiest dishes for you all. Then. Then I just need to pass along the party details to Fuyuhiko. Let's go about our business then. After Monokuma's nightly announcement, we'll meet at the old building. After everyone left, I decided to go back to the cottage. Don't tell me I got free time. I kind of want to party hard, you know? I kind of want to get Liddy on my titties. There's still some time before the party. There's no way I can spend it staring at the space in my room. Well, since I have some free time, mother sucker, bro. All right, time to go to the old building by the hotel. My guy. Whoa. Little party when the sun goes down, things go up, you feel me? Oh, uh, what's up, dude? I'm not gonna talk to you. Where's the old building at? Hold up, do you know where it is, Abuki? Oh, my mom. Oh, are you also here for the party? Why else would I be here? Anyway, what are you doing at a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Teru Teru's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate cook. That was the most pointless conversation! That don't even make any freaking sense! The party's gonna be at the old building near the hotel. Oh. There's an old building. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad, guys. I'm tripping balls. I'm tripping over my big, saggy balls. This building, right? Hotel's old building. The one that Nagito cleaned. He better have cleaned it good. Better have licked the floors clean. So this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for the wear. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why do I have to do that? Because I need to do a body check. Body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all possible security measures. Listen. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. My man, Biakuya, is not only the head planner of the party planning committee, he is also the bodyguard. Clap it up one time for Thick Biakuya. Can we clap it up for Thick Akuya? I get it. And so, I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. 
The Akuya went ahead and thoroughly. I said thick Akuya. I can't. I can't. I can't. I see. It appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't. That's fine. Very well. I shall allow you to enter. Huh? It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Biakui was standing. He got the strap! He got the strap! He go, doom, doom, doom! Oh, metal cases? What? Duralumum, actually. I found them at the supermarket. The fuck? What the hell is that? This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. The other one is for... Well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean emergencies? Stop talking. Don't worry about it. The others are already here, gathered at the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Biakuya turned his back to me. I guess that's the end of our talk, but he's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check, and what did he mean by emergencies only? Thick Akuya, bro. What am I on right now? Speaking of Thick Akuya. Hello? There's a tantalizing aroma waving from the kitchen. Jeez. However, Biakuya will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. You right. You right about that big dog. So we need to go to the where? Sonia, never mind. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. I was going to go there, but never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry with the joke. Let's go to the dining hall. Let's do what we got to do. I'm a little anxious right now. I don't know why. I feel like some crap's about to happen in here. Ooh, that's a lot of food, though. Yeah, that's a lot of yummy-ass food. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hajime, how did you like it? What do you mean? See? I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet, too. Really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yep. I brought it from the supermarket. That place sure does seem to have everything. <laughs> I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. <sighs> there was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place, too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Do I really have to talk to these guys? I really don't want to talk to these guys. All is not what it appears to be. Huh? Stay back. One of my four divas, Supernova Silver Fox Sandy, has seen what lies shrouded amidst the darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted over what's known as a window. Window? Let's there are no tell. windows in this dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night huh, Sandy, day. it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are iron plates covering the windows? Let's make Such a fine day. day. Countless lives grasp their first breath, and countless more go the way of all flesh. I guess he doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of a renovation, so I guess that might have something to do with it, but this place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly, we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent protagonist ring throughout the dining hall. I've made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Hmm. Teru Teru is in the kitchen, and it appears Fuyuhiko did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I did inform him about the party, but... Jeez. It's not like you need to apologize, Peko. It's his fault for not coming. Is it Peko or Pico? I'm about to figure it out. I explicitly stated that attendance was mandatory, but... It's fine. If just one person is absent, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Hmm? What do you mean by that? What? More importantly... Huh? Come on. Hey, what is that? An intense expression spread across Biakui's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes on it. Not possible. Dangerous. Did they really have to give him the loudest footsteps ever? <laughs> Bro, this game, man. Oh my god. Bro, be a Kuya chill! Thick a Kuya, calm it down! Hey, what are you doing? You're hogging all the food! All the food. Okay, I'll let her say no, it. I'm not. <laughs> I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out. I'm telling you, I'm not. Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat. Whoa, whoa, Thick a Kuya, your voice. Getting a little evil there. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? That's right. This iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. Dang and Robo playing too much by making Thikakuya. Wait, I can't. I can't. Hello there. Hey, looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring the rest of the... Huh? Oh. What? Some messy eater ruined my arrangement. <laughs> Who made this dish? Um, that would be me, but um, are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting? Cooking with such dangerous items. No, 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 no. Dangerous? No, no, no. 
That's churrasco. It's a South American meal where you stab meat on an iron skewer to cook it. Mm -hmm. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> the iron skewers are a problem. Why? Huh? Iron skewers aren't allowed either? Did he eat the metal too? Did he eat the skewer part like the stick? Just so he wouldn't die? What a guy! If that's how you're acting, then there might be more skewers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. They knew what they were doing with those loud-ass footsteps! Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of them. My condolences. Oh, man. He's gonna eat him, too. Ryukui's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out to the dining hall. Oh, boy. Okay, thank you, Kuya. There you are. Let's go. All right, this is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure. Can they stop with the loud ass sound effects, man? Come on, dog. Listen. Let's get on with it then. Search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Biakuya began searching the whole kitchen from one end to the other. Hmm. Look, I found these. There are forks and knives on that shelf. Don't tell me. Those two? Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Biakuya threw the forks and knives into the duraluminum case, one after the other. You're being very thorough about this. Okay, well, what about these knives? These knifeus, the end lifeus. There appear to be various types of knives, but these... What? Out of the question. Knives are far too dangerous. Hand them over to me. I'll safeguard them. Biakuya grabbed the knife from my hand and then threw it in the case. Of course. How about um, this big ass ham? Chinese, Japanese, French, and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That Taro Taro, he sure got fired up. I don't even know if I'd be able to eat that much food. I see. It seems there are no dangerous items, like that skewer in the churrasco earlier inside that pile of food. That appears to be the case. Phew. I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. Um, what else we got over here? Let me see. What about this? What's on the menu? Um, this paper is... I see. I see. It appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Hmm. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive. Compared to a normal restaurant, it's not too shabby. Very strange. But it's strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. Is it the knives? It's gotta be the knives, huh? Hey, is it necessary to go this far? Don't make me I'm doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill the promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really? Is that all? What? What do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for as long as I can remember. Distrustful person? Huh. I don't really like to talk about my past, but it's fine. I'll just tell you a little bit of it. Hmm. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Biakuya has a past he can't talk about. Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be good use. If we're to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, the past you mentioned, That's enough. now is not the time. However, one day, there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you all about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now, because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than I thought he'd have. Such silly hey, song. enough of the unnecessary banter. We better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, got it. Even so, he sure works us hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Huh? Why? What? The kitchen's a mess. What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Huh? Ugh, there are no knives or forks. Why? How come? Don't make me repeat. I literally just said that I removed all the dangerous items. You're kidding. Don't right? tell me. 
you're treating cooking utensils like dangerous items? No, 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 well, no, 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 no. Well, most of the dishes are finished. All I gotta do is arrange the plates, so it's not a problem, but... But, but still! Ooh, uh, Hajime! Stop it! Get off me! Eh? Eh? Not into that sort of thing? Well, that's a little depressing. Trust me, I'm the one who's depressed here. Hey, before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Ah, oh, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. No matter how clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in this old building, right? If it's been missing all along, we can't really do anything about it, right? You're right. There's no place to hide such a long skewer, anyway. Very well. All I need to do is keep a watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep a watchful eye all night long. Let's go. All right, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. You too, Taro Taro. Come to the dining hall for now. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. He's just trying to keep everybody alive. I understand it, I get it. Nothing wrong with that. Ah, uh, they're finally back. Hey, hey. Hey, let's eat already. I'm starving. There's still an issue we need to address first. Lies. Huh? An issue? All right. Who do I gotta beat the crap out of? Just say the word, I'll do it for you. That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where to safeguard this aluminum case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Huh? Can't we just leave it here? Hmm. I've already put a lock on the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um, someplace safe? Oh, there's a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. Storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then... Then someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Huh? Huh? Who? Who? I'll do it, of course. Uh... <laughs> Are you sure? I guess if you insist. Just kidding. Aww. But it'll be lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm not really that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. Me. Mood. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> if I wrote a song about this, the title would definitely be Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However. However, Taro Taro has gone through the trouble of cooking. Is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. But. But. If you're gonna do guard duty anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Eh? Why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. <laughs> also, I was so busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have the time to clean the storage room. If you stayed in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also a circuit breaker in there too. It'd be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. Understood. So I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then, I should get going. Have fun tonight, everyone. Taking with her the aluminum case and a plate piled with food. Peko left the dining hall. I see. Mm, I seeing see. Peko's back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool melancholy vibe. Huh? But shouldn't she have taken the other case with her too? <laughs> this? No, this case is fine. That's weird. Ah, no fair. You're like the only one who got to bring their own stuff. Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. This case stays with me at all times. I put the key to the other case in here as well. I will take full responsibility for watching over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. <sighs> More importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party! Stop no, there's still more. Oh my god! I'm gonna oh, who do you want me to beat the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me! Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Actually, if you're volunteering, I do have one particular nuisance in mind. Huh? Are you talking about... That's right. Monokuma, of course. He's the one thing that could obviously disrupt this party. I'll show you my All right. Side. So you'll let me eat it if I beat the crap out of Monokuma, right? Hold on. Wait a sec. If you actually pick a fight with that thing, you're just going to end up being perforated. Move. Are you telling me to wait till I starve to death? Hey. Starve to death? That's a little extreme. Hmm. Our opponent is not someone we can just fight. Rather, it's better if we use our heads and think of a plan. Hey, hey. I'll do something about it. What? Do something? You? Hey, hey. Hey, now. What can a girl like you do? You're just gonna put yourself in danger. No. Nope. I won't. It's not like I'll personally do something. You won't? <laughs> do you intend to utilize Monami? Yep. Yeah, if I can talk her into helping us, she might be able to keep Monokuma at bay. At least, that's what I think. Ah, oh, that's probably a good idea. She looks like the type that's easily manipulated. Plus, oh. Monami and Monokuma totally have a rivalry going on. 
Well, it's a pretty one-sided rivalry. Are you okay? But will you really be okay, Chiaki? I still think it's dangerous. It's gonna be fine. I'll be fine. If things get dangerous, I'll just run away as fast as I can. Well then, I'll be going now. Well, she's probably dead, huh? What is this feeling? I feel somewhat uneasy. It's not like I have a bad feeling about this, but something feels off. So, it's all settled, right? Then can we... You're right. Let's begin. All right! <laughs> so the banquet has finally commenced. Ha <laughs> <laughs> You better keep me entertained! Okay, so I think it's one of the people that's not at the party right now that's probably gonna die. And with that, the party started. Now that I think about it, I still don't understand why we're even having a party in the first place. But whatever the reason, everyone seems to be having fun. Hey, are we good? Can I finally eat? You're already eating! Okay, time to get some water! <laughs> I, I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop my hands from shoving food in my oh, face. Down, down. Well, of course you can't stop. These are the world's tastiest party dishes, after all. No matter how full you feel, you can't help but continue eating such exquisite delicacies. That is what I cook, the world's tastiest dishes. That's rather scary. You're not eating? Then I'm going to eat all this by myself. I'll make lots more in the kitchen, and then I'll bring it all out here, okay? Hey, everyone. While we're at it, why don't I take pictures for you guys? Wow. That sounds wonderful. Please do. Okay, everybody's so happy. I don't like it. This feels weird. When I first came to this island, watching everyone have fun was so frustrating. But now, it feels reassuring. We're actually friends who fight together. Friends who've developed a sense of unity. No. Huh, Nekomaru? Did something happen? The party's just started, but I must return to my cottage! Come on! Don't be foolish. I won't allow such selfish actions. Don't stop don't me! Stop me, Biakuya! There comes a time when a man knows he's gotta go. If I don't go now, it would shame me as a man. Sure. Shitting my pants would totally shame me as a man! So he was talking about the toilet. What? If you need to use the bathroom, there's one in this old building. Why do you need to go back to your cottage? I've been trying to use it many times, but the door just won't open at all. What? What is this blasphemy? <laughs> what now? Impossible. My hellhound earring has disappeared. Did it vanish into subspace? <laughs> Calm down. You probably just dropped it somewhere. Sure. Oh shit, I'm gonna shit it! Quiet. <laughs> Shut up. Don't you dare. Hey, is it really all right if I eat all this? Don't be an idiot. Make sure you leave some for me. Come on. Hey, Biakuya, everyone, come on. I'm going to take a picture. Say cheese. All right, say cheese. <laughs> hey, why can't you all act a little more mature? What? Huh? What was that sound just now? Huh? It's dark. All of a sudden. <gasps> it's a blackout. Blackout? Huh? A blackout! Hey, I can't see anything! In that instant, as we stumbled around the darkness, our fear swallowed up like a flood. It's pitch black! My future is pitch black! That's a weird thing to say. The sound of screams and frantic footsteps rang throughout the dark dining hall, and were immediately swallowed up by another sound. Uh, everyone, calm down! We gotta stay calm in a situation like this! What the hell? What's going on here? Because the windows were entirely covered, the blackout surrounded us with complete darkness. Complete darkness. Therefore, no matter how long I wait, there's no way my eyes will adjust. This is... Ow! Turn the damn lights on! I can't eat like this, you know! You guys? Where are you? Wasn't the blackout just in the kitchen? Perhaps the breaker overloaded? Hold on a sec. I'll go along the wall and do something about it. Is that Taro Taro? Who's talking right now? Within the darkness, we fervently waited to be released from our fear. We anxiously waited, and after a while, it finally... Ah! At that moment, when the lights in the dining hall finally turned back on, a shocking scene unfolded before our eyes. <gasps> Th that is... Mikan's appearance had been compromised. What the... Yo! Hey, man! What is happening here? Mikan, first time? Okay, we'll let it slide. Second time? You're doing this on purpose! 
Seriously? How do you trip and land like that? Bruh! Yay! An erotic pose! That's obviously a fan service moment. Yo, I... I don't even know what to look at right now. I'm just gonna look at my other monitor. <laughs> I can't take this at all! My room! You know, I'm gonna look at the monitor with the game, but I'm just gonna look up. There's no this, way this I can ridiculous. do that. She knows what she's doing. Already. She like one of those people that's like, "Oops, did I do that?" I'm terribly sorry for all this trouble. So sorry. Hey. Yeah, from now on, just be careful. Huh? Oh, I'm glad the lights are back on here too. Yay! So you were the one who fixed the breaker, Kazuichi. You were unusually useful this time. Hey. Well, no, I couldn't find my way to the office with the circuit breaker. Huh? Huh? Then why are the lights back on? <laughs> who knows? What? Are you Don't stupid? who knows me? You're so useless! <sighs> hey! It's not my fault, you know. There's no way I could have found my way to the office in that darkness. He right! He right! Oh my! Oh my! What happened? Sonia, did something happen? Um... No, Biakuya is missing. Did he go somewhere? Huh? Eh? Biakuya? We immediately looked around the dining hall. Sure enough, Biakuya, who promised he would lead us in situations like this, was nowhere to be found. Huh? That's weird. He was here earlier, right? Um... Did he run off somewhere during the blackout? In that pitch blackness? Hey. I'm a little worried. We should split up and go look for him. I'll look in the storage room so I can ask you to check the entrance, Hajime. Yeah, got it. For now... Then I guess I'll go look in the office. Then... I should look around the hallway. Um, I'll wait here. Um, this is a kind of in the middle of eating anyway. She's still gonna eat while this is going on? Mm, I must... Bathroom! Sure. I must man up and check the bathroom! I don't understand this man up thing. Jeez! Jeez, Mr. Ham Hands ran away just because there was an itty bitty blackout. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shameful leader. If I find him, I'm gonna finger flick him in the face as punishment. Even so, where did Biakuya go? Um, I believe I have to go check the entrance. I'm pretty sure Chiaki was there. Okay, yeah, just go to the toilet, dude. Come on, you don't gotta shit your pants and be all dramatic with it. Hotel sights. What a sight it is to see. Chiaki and Monomi are standing in front of the entrance. I guess they're watching out for Monokuma. Huh? Huh, Hajime? What about the party? Oh, uh... What? It's not done yet, right? I haven't even joined in yet. Hey, Chiaki, did you happen to see Biakuya pass by here? Nope. Biakuya? Nope, I didn't. But what happened to Biakuya? There was a sudden blackout inside the old building, and Biakuya vanished during that time. So we thought he might have gone outside, but... Nope, nobody came out. If nobody came out, does that mean he's still inside? If that's the case, we might have missed each other. I think. That's what I think. You better not be dead. Hey. Ah, uh, Hajime, how did it go? Well, when I talked to Chiaki, she said he didn't go outside. That's... That's weird. No one was inside the storage room either. Hmm. He wasn't in the kitchen, obviously. Hmm. No one was in the office. It is strange, Nobody no? was in the office. That's weird. Huh? What about Pico? I thought she was supposed to be guarding that area. Hey. Well, actually, not even Pico was there. Huh? Huh? Pico's gone too? Maybe those two took advantage of the blackout to have themselves a major makeout session in the bathroom? Well done. <sighs> truly, truly outrageous. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Did something happen, Akane? Well, do any of you smell something? Well. When partially digested food is absorbed by the small intestine, it's decomposed by bacteria releasing gas, which is mostly absorbed in the intestinal tract, but whatever cannot be absorbed is excreted from the anus. Yes. Those are the mechanics of farting, but... Farting isn't something to be embarrassed about. It's not like that. No, I'm not talking about that. Wait. It smells like blood. Blood? <laughs> As Akane's nose twitched like a beast, she suddenly pointed. <sighs> it's coming from over there. A table at the very back of the dining hall. No way. This better not be Biakuya. The smell of blood. What in the world is at that table? <sighs> it's under there. Under the table? 
I dashed toward the table at the back, reached out toward the tablecloth, and then I stopped. Is this nervousness? Fear? Why am I nervous? It can't be. It obviously can't be. There's no way that's gonna happen! With a shout, I grabbed the tablecloth and flipped it back in one go. Not Biakuya, not Biakuya, not Biakuya. Is that Biakuya? No! It's Biakuya! Biakuya, no! For the rest of my life, I will never forget what I saw. What I saw. I saw the ultimate. Oh, no! No! Biakuya Tagami, already dead and beyond recognition. You've got to be kidding me! We didn't even get to enjoy Dikakuya for more than a couple hours? <sighs> Bro, I hate it here! I hate it at this island! I'm ending the episode, man. Biyakuya. Oh my... Why is Biyakuya? Bro, I'm already pissed off. I just stood there, horrified, as showers of screams rang out behind me. As I gazed quietly at the body of my former friend. He was my friend too. I love Biyakuya. Why? What is this? I'm upset. I am so upset right now. This is... It's impossible. Don't mess with me. This must be some kind of mistake. This can't be real blood, right? It's got to be something like jam or sauce. Because if not... This. What the hell? Good gracious! Things quickly took a turn for the worse. Yeah. My my! Now this is interesting. Well, On this Charles tropical Charles. paradise known as Jabra Walk Island, the very first murder has finally taken place. Murder? Could it be? Hold on. Then does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's right. Bikuya was killed by one of you. You freaking assholes! Huh? Of course. If you look at the body, you can tell instantly. He was obviously murdered. I'm upset. <laughs> I am so upset. Look! He has such a horrible expression on his face, don't you think? A face filled with regret that his life was ended by force. All thanks to someone else's selfish desires. To have a dying face such as this? If this isn't murder, then what the heck could it be? Biakuya was mostly sacrificed by someone who really wanted to leave this island. Lies. It's all lies. You're lying that he was murdered. Murdered? The moment I screamed that word, a thick, muddy feeling of despair swelled within my body. Which means that... that I've accepted the fact that Biakuya was murdered. What? What is this? Is that really Biakuya? Why? Why? Why did this happen? Why Biakuya? I see, I see. It appears Fuyuhiko is the only one who isn't here. What are you gonna so, do? So, in the spirit of keeping everyone on the same page, how about we do this the usual way? Ting tong, bing bong, baby. I'm really upset. A body has been discovered! Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin! I told you guys before, um, Kyoko and Biakuyo were some of my favorite characters. Class trial? Hey, um... I've already explained this to you, right? If one of you gets murdered, the rest of you have to debate who you think is the blackened. You're telling us to figure out who the killer is? Correct! That's right! From this point on, you guys must investigate and uncover the blackened culprit! That's impossible! It can't be! Someone actually killed... There's no way! If you make an outburst like that, you'll end up being a suspect. That's... I won't believe it. One of us killed Biakuya. There's no way something as hopeless as that would ever happen. No, no, if no. If you're actually thinking that way, it means you guys are already being conned by the killer. Yeah. Come on, come on. Let's hurry and begin. An impassioned, life-risking battle between you guys and the Blackened. And it's already started. It started the moment one of you plotted to kill someone. Hey, what are you saying? You can't! Everyone, please, you cannot, you should not believe what Monokuma says! <laughs> no matter how much you interfere, there is only one truth. On my, On my grandfather's name! Do you have a grandpa? On my grandfather's... 
Rafe? Your grandpa's dead? What happened to him? On my, On my grandfather's... Okay, shut up. Let's, let's stop with this. Let's stop with that. You ain't my comedy partner anymore. Yeah. It hurts so much when you hit me with a charging corkscrew attack. What is this, Pokemon? Did you see that? This stunning display of power. Defy your big brother and I will show you no mercy. I will harden my heart and teach you a lesson you won't soon forget. Uh, if only I had my magic stick, I'd be able to fight back against Monokuma. Fine, fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Let's just leave the whiny rabbit loser alone and get on with the investigation. Now then, in the spirit of lovey doubt and dovey deception, put your heart and soul into investigating. Yahoo! I wish you the best of luck. And with that, Monokuma vanished, leaving those of us who were grief-stricken alone with our despair. What, what does this is mean? this? I don't understand this at all. Oh. Search for Biakui's killer. Why did it turn out like this? What's going on? Oh, give me a break. Why do I have to be involved in this horrible situation? Um, um you can't doubt each other, because you're all friends. Understand? But Mr. Ham Hands really did get killed, right? And if we don't find out who the killer is, we're all going to get killed, right? Please wait. That being said, I cannot abide by this. Now that I have finally made friends, there is no way I can doubt them. So. Seriously? Did you even listen to what I said? It doesn't matter if you can abide by this or not. we got to do this to survive, right? Then we have no choice but to do it. I won't forget No! You. Friends doubting friends is a major no-no! Shut up! Shut, Shut up. up! Just go away already, you useless piece of trash! Oh, ah, threats are scary! Do we really have to do it? But... No, I don't want to do something like this. No! I don't want to do it either. It sounds so scary. However... However, it is just as Hiyoko said. If we're going to get killed for not doing it, then we must do it. But still, I can't believe one of us killed Biakuya. There's no way I can believe it. There's no way. So for that reason... Yep. I'll do it. I'll investigate Biakuya's death. I will do my best to prove there is no killer among us. There's no need to deceive or doubt each other. What we need to fight is not ourselves, There's but no that mistake. which is trying to crush us. This despair! This hopeless reality. That's the real enemy we need to fight. If I'm gonna survive this, then I have to fight it. Um, uh, before you start, can I say something? Well? In closed circle detective games, the player usually has to decide on who's going to guard the crime scene. What should we do? I know! Oh yeah, it would be bad if the killer destroyed the evidence and got away with it. <laughs> destroyed the evidence? Look, over there! That big, bulky, brawny guy is perfect for the guard job! Whoa! What the heck? What happened? Man... That guy has a sensitive heart, despite his looks. Is that what that means? Hey! Um, I can be the one who watches the crime scene. I don't have enough confidence to investigate the body, and it's not like I have the brains either. I'll just stay by Biakuya's side. That's the least I can do. That's what guard duty is, right? Mihiru... <laughs> Uh, uh, I'll, do my, I'll do my best. I'll do my very best to not get in your way. Yes. I uh, I have medical training, so if it's not too much trouble, I can perform an autopsy, please. Um. So you're gonna stay as well? Is that okay? <laughs> and what specifically should we be doing now? I have no idea. Hmm. It's pretty obvious we're all just amateurs. Going through each grain of sand on a beach just to find a clue would be a waste of time. The only ones who can do that are the police. There's no way amateurs like us will be able to do that. Hey. So, let's first rely on our intuition. We'll start from there and prove that none of us could have killed Biakuya. <laughs> but to perform an autopsy on your friend, how cruel. <laughs> but I have no choice, right? There's no way I could do something like decline, right? I won't believe I won't that. Believe I won't it. believe it. Biakuya got killed. I don't believe that at all. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Fine, I'm in. You are right. If we are to survive, this is our only path. This is the worst. Something like this is the only thing we can do in order to stay alive. Finding out who the killer is, that's our only hope for survival. Something like this is hope? Even so, I still gotta do it. Alright guys, I'm gonna end it here. Okay, never mind. Ta-da! You thought it was time for the investigation, but... The Monokuma file! Just as I thought, you amateurs need this, right? What the hell? Is a Monokuma file? Like Jeez, this. explaining the rules all the time really breaks my bones. Well, it's not like I have bones in the first place. Like, don't even make me say such lame jokes. Allow me to 
Let's see. The Monokuma file contains precise and detailed info regarding the dead body. I brought it to you so you guys can smoothly proceed with the investigation. I'm such a nice guy. I'm so nice I want to be known as the Mother Teresa of the mascot world. Nice, you say? You're just a selfish meanie. What's this? My, my, my. Monami, the meaningless mascot. You still here? You Don't put brother. me in the meaningless mascot genre. Damn it. Come on, let's go. Your turn is already up. Hurry up and get the hell out of here with me. <laughs> Ouchie, don't pull my ears. They're going to come off. They're finally gone. The Monokuma file, huh? Anyway, I guess I should look over it just in case. He's six feet tall, 286. My guy. The victim's body was discovered in the dining hall of the old building near the Hotel Mirai. The estimated time of death is 11.30 p.m. The victim was repeatedly stabbed over 10 times between the throat and abdominal region. God damn! Aside from that, the body has no further external injuries and no chemicals such as poison were detected. So, Biakuya is really dead. Damn it! You promised there wouldn't even be one victim. Why'd you end up being one? And now, I'll never know what you were gonna say to me. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been a living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. In the end, what did he even mean? Could it be? Even so, if there really is a traitor, isn't that gosh darn awful? Pretending to be your ally and tricking you guys? It can't be helped if someone like that gets killed, right? A traitor? No way. Just because he said a lot of serious things, it doesn't mean he was the traitor. What am I thinking? Obtained a... Oh, Monokumo file has been added to the... There we go. Our first one of the game. Anyway, we need to carefully examine everything. That's right. I need to do it. If we're going to survive this, we need to do it. I have to prepare myself for the worst. Alright, like I said, um, I'm going to save the investigation for the next video. 50,000 likes, guys, to cheer me up because I'm so sad that Viaqui is dead. Tell me that this game is going to get better because I'm so sad that my guy Viaqui is dead. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!